Good morning, good afternoon, home vlog. Hello. Oh, I caught you off guard, didn't <laughs> I? Know I? You did. I got you good. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen today. The world is our oyster. You know what? I do know what's gonna happen today. I was gonna say, I think we do know what's gonna happen. Yeah. I think I know more about American Girl dolls than you do, genius. <laughs> Little does she know. I went to that store that one time. Oh my gosh, you did. And I saw American Girl dolls. So I know at least one thing about American Girl dolls. <laughs> so, so that's a vine. If, in case you guys don't get the reference, it's a vine. Not but, the me going to the American Girl doll. No, you store. really did do that. I didn't go into it. No, but because it was closed. But you creep, you like peek through the windows, which I think is even worse. Well, it was closed. Oh, okay. <laughs> there wasn't like people inside of it shopping or anything. I was like looking at it. It was the the best way to look at American Girl dolls. Just like when the door is closed. Okay. <laughs> There's a sleepy bandit next to us. And a sleepy baby upstairs. Yeah, he's taking his uh, first nap of the day. It's kind of a long one. I feel like maybe he didn't get a lot of sleep last night or something. But he did. Did he? Yeah, he did really good. He went to bed at like 8.30. I don't know if he did really good. And then he woke up at 3.30. Oh, yeah. So that was good. And then he slept until 6.30. Oh, yeah. So it was pretty good. He did do good. Okay. Yeah. I feel like my days are all like lumping together as far as his sleep schedule goes. And he had a few bad days. So I think I was getting mixed up. Can I just mention, so those of you guys that watched yesterday's video, you guys saw how delicious the dinner was that we had this brunch. Uh, I already have pimples from that. <gasps> no. Like I got two pimples. I got one here and then I got one down here. Why do you think that gave you pimples? Because it was so greasy. Is that really what you think? Yeah. I rubbed it on my face. <laughs> Is that... Yeah, I mean, that's what you should have done. I think they're stress pimples. I've been getting stress pimples. Weird spots, like up here. Like, I don't know why. I think that is hormonal. Yeah. Is that the same thing as stress? Yeah. Hormones and stress are the same thing? I think so. Well, I don't want any of it. <laughs> Some people ask for a day in the life of Jackson. There it is. Are you sleeping? Did I wake you up? I don't think I can truly put into words how great this little standing activity table has been. He loves it. He stands in it for longer than he does anything else. Like if I put him on his tummy, if I put him on his back, he will get annoyed and be like, do something else. Let's, I want to go somewhere else. But if he's in this thing, he just like sits here and plays for long periods of time. And it's great. Right, buddy? Right? Yeah. How are you doing? I am trying to get the video up. I just took a shower. I feel good. Your hair is crazy. Mm, that's what happens after I take a shower. Oh yeah. I didn't blow dry it. I feel like, what? Who needs to blow dry their hair anymore? I, I did today. I just, what's the point, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Well, oh no, what happened to Brother Bandit? <gasps> Brother Bandit. You know what I tried to do? What? I tried to uh, put a GoPro on the roller coaster. Oh, yeah. The GoPro is entirely too big, like way too big. I would have to get a camera that's like this big. <laughs> it, it was, I don't know if we're going to get a, a POV of this. Dang. Unless I did it like stop motion. I think we could figure something out. I don't know. Never say never. Never? Yeah, never say never. Oh, like I just said it. Justin Bieber. Never. So we just did a premiere of yesterday's video where I was in the chat talking with people and we were talking about how Jackson is eating like cereal now. They were calling it like slightly solid food. And they're like, get ready for his poop to start smelling. And I was like, no, it's fine. Like it didn't really change that smell very much. Uh, he just had his first real stinker. <laughs> like, wow, I was stinky. I was not prepared for that sort of smell. He's a so, big boy. He's a big boy. Yeah. It makes a big smell. So this is it. This is what we wanted to do today. The Mega Fossil Dig Kit. It sounds so interesting. It has 15 genuine fossils in it. I can't wait. We're gonna like dig up some real fossils. It comes with one extra large dig brick, one excavation tool, one excavation brush, a magnifying glass, and a learning guide. So, I don't know, I'm hoping that we get uh, some crow shark teeth, maybe a trilobite, uh, an ammonite, a mosasaur tooth. Wow, I hope we get some teeth in here. That sounds really neat. But they're real fossils? They're real fossils. Ammonites are like a half of a penny each. You can buy them in bulk. 
What about the tooth, though? The tooth sounds interesting, but it is real. I don't know, I can't wait to see what we've got in this. All right, Jackson, are you ready to see what's inside the mega fossil kit? We're outside right now. We've got our towel set up so we can make a mess. Jackson's going to help. Jen's going to eat some Cheetos. Flaming hot Cheetos. This is what all archaeologists eat. Oh, it's true. That's what I heard. All right, let's see what kind of prehistoric treasure is involved in this. Well, I'm kind of, I want to see what the brick thing is. Oh. oh it's like a literal brick of fossils. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, are these all fossils? No, I think that you have to dig through this stuff. Oh, okay. And do you do you leave it in here? I'm sure you can. That would make keep it like clean up easy. Yeah, should we right? do that? Okay. So we gotta open it up. And okay. that's our, our magnifying glass. Let's see. Our digging utensil. Let's see. Whoa, that's a big old eyeball right there. I gotta tell you, it looks kind of like a fun house mirror. Oh yeah, oh it? yeah, look at that. Whoa. <laughs> How huh? do we we have a better we have a better uh magnifying glass inside that's weird okay well is it is it actually oh uh, not not really <laughs> do you want to see he's like hmm yeah <laughs> all right let's open this bad oh. oh so yeah we got this digging tool and like a little this is like, like what you chisel. use to push your nails down oh yeah and and then you got this little uh oh it's like a tiniest, hard paintbrush tiniest brush ever Mmm. Now we gotta open this. It's wrapped in plastic like all good fossils are. Are you excited? Yeah, buddy. You yeah, ready? wanna check it out? Your dad's okay. an archaeologist. So we're in agreement that these are not, this is just like, like a, right? Yeah, that's that's not a real fossil, right? I don't think so. You just would, dig through I it? Just, I just dig through it. Okay. Is this, I hope that, oh look, here's one. Okay, we found one all pretty pretty much right away. Whoa. Ooh, okay. Do you like dig in like that? Oh yeah, look. <gasps> oh my gosh. Where's my brush? I need to brush this away. Oh yeah, look at this. We're, we're, we're archeologing. <laughs> oh, big old chunk came out. Get out of here, chunk. What, what does this side do? I don't know. That's the side that you push your nails down with. Oh yeah, look at that, it's getting big chunks out. Yeah, that's how you get your cuticles Ooh. nice. We're doing it. We're, <gasps> oh we're no, did you break it? Cuticling it. No, I don't. So it's like made of stone. Oh, okay. I wonder what this one is. I don't know. We need to look at the field guide, I think. I think there's two right next to each other here. See, there's another one right there. <gasps> we'll do one, do one first. Okay. I think this one's like a trilobite. Oh man, this is exciting stuff. So we wanted to show you guys. We brought the fan out for Jackson. Look at his little hair blowing in the wind. Can you see that? <laughs> Look at that little rat tail blowing in the wind. You look like a cool dude. Mm. Yeah, you do. Oops. Does that fan feel so nice blowing your little cool hair? Oh. Look at, do you guys see this like opalescence here? What is that, hollow? Is it hollow? Is it, oh, the pink thing? Yeah. Oh. That's that natural hollow. All right, I gotta go underneath it and see if I can just pop it out of here. What is natural hollow? Is that like opal? Yeah. Okay. Is it not? I don't know. I think you're right. What, what is it? This is an ammonite. You don't even have to look at the field guide. Oh, well, um, we should though, just in case I'm wrong. Yeah, we'll double check. I feel like this would just be easier if we just like put this in water. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> How come uh, they don't do that with actual fossils? Well, because the, the actual fossils are in actual rock. Oh, uh, okay. Whereas this is just in like plaster of Paris or something. Are you so proud of your dad finding a real fossil? I'm doing it, Jackson. Wow, it looks, is it super thick? I mean, it's its not super thick. How do you get under it? Like oh, that. there it is. <gasps> what is it? <gasps> oh my gosh, Whoa. wow, that is like a real fossil. Yeah, look at that. Gotta use your tools. I know, I'm sorry. That's not a tool. I mean, I think just using water at this point would be a good idea. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, is that real? Yeah. Wow, that looks awesome. I think I like this part, this like pearl part. Hold on, let me just like dip it in the water real quick. Okay. There's our ammonite fossil. So what is an ammonite fossil? I like a know. prehistoric snail? Look Actually, at these little like leafy things. Can you see the leaf things? Kind of hard to see because it's very small. Let's see what our guidebook says about it. Teach us, paleontologist Jen. Oh, I will. Whoa, this is what they look like. Oh my goodness. It's like a nautilus. It's like a little squiddy. 
Yeah. So these are sea animals that first appeared in the fossil record around 400 million years ago. Whoa. Jackson, we're teaching you about ammonites. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> they went extinct around the same time as the dinosaurs, and they had soft bodies. They used their spiral-shaped shell for protection. Um, scientists believed that they may have avoided predators by squirting ink. So they're like oh. prehistoric squids. Yeah. So how come squid don't have shells now? Well, nautilus do. They had eyes and tentacles and they used jet propulsion to push themselves through the water. How'd they know it had tentacles? I don't, I don't see any tentacles. Well, I feel like, did, th did these leave fossils? Maybe. Like, did these have bones in them? Maybe. So my field guidebook says that the iridescent ammonites are rare and during the ammonites life the iridescent or rainbow coloration would have never been seen because it would have been underneath the different layers of the shell. So during the fossilization process um, a small amount of the outer shell is like disintegrated which is why we can see it now. Oh that's interesting. Yeah so it does it looks like opal. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? I think so. It looks really cool. I know there's one right here that you found, but I don't want to ride your coattails. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna try to find my own. Do it. And there's 15 in here, is that what it yeah. said? Some of them must be really little. I don't know. Well, by that logic, I should be able to find one like any time that I stick this little stick in. I think there's one real close to you. You think? I'm thinking it. Oh, yeah, yeah right there's there. one right there. Ooh, I did find one. Check it out, it's under this fake one. Well, I wonder what you found. I don't know, it looks kind of big. Ooh, that looks real interesting. It looks really big, right? Looks real shiny too. Orthoceras, I think is what you're finding right now, which is kind of like the same thing as what I found, but instead of having a, like a swirly shell, it's just like a long pointy shell. Okay. Is it like a clam? No, there, there are clams in here though. Oh, there are? Okay. Yeah. Oh no. What? You can find fossilized poop in here. Oh, can you? Yeah. That's funny. I think because it's, it's butted right up next to another one, that's making it kind of hard. So you can kind of see where it ends here you kind of see that so i'm going to try to get under it there archaeologists don't have an easy job here do you think that in real life there are like 15 fossils next to each other mm, i mean if it's a full skeleton where do you think they get all these real fossils they dig them up or maybe just put them in these toys yeah that seems awfully strange how else are you going to get more archaeologists all right i've taken over for jen real quick to try to get this one out of here let's see what we can do Oh, it's like a little baby clam. But see, how do we know that's a fossil and not just like an actual little clam? Not just they just stuck a clam in there? Yeah. Well, because it's like rock. That was the B-52's like B-side. It was it's... a raw clam. It was a raw clam shell. Alright, they oh, okay. <gasps> did it come oh, out? The little like clam shell guy did. Oh, okay. But how do I You just dunk it in water, like our little cheat? I think I need to get some of the bigger pieces off first. Oh, but it's like a full out like clam like oh, it's oh it's closed yeah, it's closed still wow huh. so do you think there's a little dinosaur in there like a little clam dinosaur yeah i don't think so oh hmm, why not he probably disintegrated hmm. okay now we can get this guy out whatever it is <laughs> oh there it goes <gasps> Ooh. i don't know what this one is we're bringing over the water cheating with the water a little bit <gasps> right. wow that looks awesome i don't know what it is i don't either We'll see if we can read in our field guide and see what it says about it. But yeah, then we got a little clam too. So I think this is an Orthoceras, which means straight horn. So the marine mammal that was given its name because of the long cone-shaped shell. And I think that this part is the cone-shaped shell. Well, I think that this is a smaller piece that broke off. Yeah, it was supposed to be like this long here. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's pretty interesting. And then there's our little, there's our little clam. Have you tried the clams casino? <laughs> See, if you look at this picture right next to this, I think that these are the same thing. This is just like a smaller version of those. So now I'm gonna go for this one. I know I said I wasn't gonna get the one that he found earlier, but I think it looks like it's gonna be a pretty neat one. Kinda looks like it's gonna be a trilobite. I think there's another one right next to it though. Oh man, there's so many. Well, right, or do you think that's part of it? No, I think that's something else. I feel like the easiest thing to do would just be like, pick this thing up and drop it on some concrete. Oh no. And let all the fossils go out. Ooh. Oh, we got something here. Let's see if I can get this one out really quick too. This one started popping out. I don't know what this one is. Oh, this is a little shark's tooth right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's interesting. It's broken, but it's, it's a shark's tooth. And then I think we're working on a little snail shell over here. Oh yeah, there it is. 
little snail shell. We just gotta clean these guys up with some water. Is there something? I think there's another one underneath these. That's what you needed to do. You need to start on one side and then they just start popping right out. I think this one's a mosasaur tooth. All right, let me clean these three up at least. And then we might have to call it a day on this because it's getting darker. And we gotta feed Jackson, we gotta eat some dinner. Yeah, I think that one's gonna be a mosasaur tooth right there. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. All right, so here's what we found. This is a mosasaur tooth. Mosasaurs were marine lizards that were the dominant predators of the late Cretaceous period around 80 million years ago. So this tooth is 80 million years old. That is intense. Uh, mosasaur species ranged from a size of 10 feet to 55 feet long. The largest mosasaur fossil ever found was 57 and a half feet long, 10 feet longer than the largest T-Rex. Wow. Okay, and then this guy was Orthoceras. Orthoceras means straight horn, and this was a marine animal that was given its name because of the long cone-shaped shell it used for protection. They first entered the, rec the fossil record around 500 million years ago. Here's the picture of them right there. Oh yeah, and here's what they look like not as fossil. Oh, but they became extinct around 190 million years ago. So this thing is at least 190 million years old. And then we also found a clam shell, which you guys know what clams are. Clam fossils are easy, easily recognizable because of they almost looked exactly like present day clams. Oh, okay. They became really diverse and abundant around 275 million years ago. There you go. So this guy's probably 275 million years old. Let's see, what else do we got here? This, the, the crinoids because if you see the picture of it right here it looks almost exactly like that crinoid fossils date back as far as 475 million years ago were often so numerous that the whole limestone beds of crinoid skeletons can be found ah, so that's probably why they're in these things uh, these graceful creatures are commonly known as sea lilies or feather stars oh okay they're still around today and then it says crow shark the crow shark was a formidable shark that lived throughout the entire cretaceous period but became extinct judging from the size of the largest known teeth scientists estimate that this species grew to 10 to 15 feet long so not much bigger than present day sharks and then our very last thing that we found or the very first thing that we found which i think was the coolest was this ammonite and they said that the rainbow ammonites were very rare and we got a rainbow one so that's pretty amazing so we're gonna keep doing this not tonight, but maybe like tomorrow or something like that. We'll dig a little bit more. So far, we've found seven fossils, almost half of them out of the 15. This is pretty fun. Did I mention the snail, the gastropod? There it is right there. It's called the Sahara gastropod. Ooh, what you making? Okay, so I was supposed to be this apricot mustard chicken, but instead of apricot, they sent us honey. So it's just honey mustard chicken. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it, it, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. So I already cooked up my potato. This was one potato. That's a lot of, it was a big potato. Right? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I'm cooking up my chicken, or I'm like seasoning my chicken now, and then I have some asparagus Whoa. in the oven. Something that was really cool about the asparagus is that after you cook it, it says to just put a, like a tablespoon of butter on top and then just like let it melt all over it. And oh. That's, that's it. That's it. Yeah, and I was like, that sounds delicious. <laughs> so I do have to admit, like going outside, and it was very hot out, it was like 88, I got a little sweaty. It felt good to be a little sweaty, like be outside sweating. It's like what I did for a very long time when we were going to the parks in the middle of summer, just get all sweaty. And then we did it again today, digging up some fossils outside. It was nice. Oh, speaking of the fossils, I wanted to talk about this because I feel like I have a, maybe not a million dollar idea, but definitely like a good idea for the theme parks. Um, so at Universal, you know how they have the Ju Jurassic Park area? Yeah. So have you ever been to like an old tiny theme park where you would pan for gold? Yeah. They should do something similar to that at Jurassic Park, but with the fossils, like the thing that we're doing right now. Like you have to dig for it? Yeah. Like you would pay for like a, I don't know. Like a stick? Yeah. Like something to, to dig into the sand? Yeah, like the scrapey thing. Yeah. And then you would get to keep whatever you found. And the, you said the fossils are like a, a penny on Amazon. Yeah. And they're real fossils. Yeah. Could, wouldn't that be like a cool thing? Like yeah. panning for gold, but like digging for fossils, like real fossils? I feel like maybe they did do this when Universal Jurassic Park area first opened. Oh, did they? Maybe. Did they? I, is you know, it's thing? been so long since we've been downstairs at the, at the Discovery Center. There's so many little things down there. Oh. We'll have to go back down there. Maybe they didn't. I know for sure you could like watch a, a dinosaur hatch, like a dinosaur egg hatch. Yeah. But I never, I don't know. Let us know if you, if, like, if you know. Well, I know that they did that at the Science Center. Yeah. 
like in the little dig pit area, you could go and you could get find little ammonites and keep them. Yeah, but wouldn't it be cool if you could do it? I don't. I just feel like it would be a cool thing at the theme park. And like it's an like, easy money maker too. Yeah, right. Universal. Call me. Yeah. Shout out to all the peeps that looked in the mirror and noticed that they have uh, dried baby oatmeal all over their shirt. Oh no, do you? From when he fell asleep on my chest here. Let me so. see. Yeah, it's kind of gross looking actually. You oh, see you it? Can't, you can't even see that. Right there? It's like barely noticeable. I know, but you can feel it. Feel this. They can't feel it. Oh yeah, that, that's weird. <laughs> it's pretty gross, right? <laughs> yeah. So dinner is oh. coming along. It's almost done. Where are you at? I'm sorry. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like a fox. There's, uh, my sauce is thickening up. It actually smells really good. So it's just garlic, um, chicken broth concentrate and I got a little bit on my finger and I tasted it and it's very like super chickeny. Yeah. Which makes, I mean, it makes sense. It's super like, chicken. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, honey and what was the other thing? I don't know. Dijon mustard. Oh. That's what it was. Oh, and some water. And then I am just going to mash up my uh, potatoes and they're going to be sour cream and chive potatoes. Oh, yummy. You know, they love chives, not chives, scallions. Scallions. Sour Same cream. thing. So many... I think they're different. Is it not sour cream and onion potato chips? Is that chives? Are they the same? Is that not chives? I don't know. I think chives are dried out onions. I don't think they are. are I'm going to look it up. Well, I'll be. What? Chives are a close relative to onions, garlic, scallions. Oh, so those they are, type they of are things. different. They are different. Okay. But they're in the same family. Okay. Pretty interesting. What's, what's different about them? Are they like a different flavor? I think they're, yeah, I think they're skinnier too. Oh, uh -huh, okay. What? So scallions are, are like a thick boy. Yeah. Okay. Oh dang, this looks so good. It's like a honey mustard chicken. Look at how hairy it is. What? Why is it hairy? Oh, this is like how asparagus grows, I think. With hair? Yeah, do you see it? No. Oh, you mean like the little... Is like, that hair? Uh, not actual hair. Oh god. But you know what I mean. Like flowery. I think it's gonna be really good. Yeah. So here's the thing that's been the hardest for me. What? When we were going to the parks all the time, specifically me when I was going to the parks all the time, mm -hmm. I ate a lot of sweets. <laughs> I know. Like a I'm... whole lot of sweets. You want dessert? I want dessert every night, but I've been trying to like be good. Well, we have a dessert. We do? Yeah, remember the neighbors made us sweet beans? Oh yeah. He's like, I don't know if I would eat that. It's probably not good anymore. Is that what he said? Yeah, he said that. Should we try uh, it? I th I thought I'm he gonna said, try it. <laughs> is that what he said? And then he, he also said, if you eat if it. you're new to this, so you might not want to drink water for two hours afterwards. Why? Because it's beans, and I didn't understand that at all. Are they gonna like expand? Are we gonna blow up? <laughs> I I didn't <laughs> want to ask. I, I was really like, I'm just like, oh, okay, yeah, I totally know what you're talking is about. He, is he thinking like we're birds eating rice? I don't know. What is that? All right, we opened it up, and the first thing that I'm noticing is that there's like large chunks of something in here. Is it bread or bananas? I know, there's like a really big one. Oh, yeah, look at that. What is that? Is that a banana? What is this? I feel like they're cookies or something. I, I have no idea. I'm going to eat one. But so our neighbor said that he likes to eat it hot and that his wife likes to eat it cold. Should and this is it? cold. Do we try it cold? I'm going to try it. Oh, that's real good. What is it? What was it? Um. You still don't know you're eating it. It has a reminiscent flavor of like. Oh no, your belly's already making weird noises. It's really good. Let me try it. Bite. It tastes like. It tastes like cheesecake or something. Not cheesecake, but like a the, like flan or something. The thick thing or the whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing. Mmm. There is like kind of a banana-y flavor in there, isn't it? It tastes like Christmas. Yeah, but the, is it like flan? Or is it creme brulee or something? Yeah, maybe creme brulee. It kind of tastes like cinnamony and vanilla-y. Mmm. So why can't we try? I need, I'm like craving water now. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're not supposed to have water, you're like, I really want some water. Yeah. Wait, so what is that? What's that? I don't know, it was... What is hard? Some sort of like, root? Is it plantains? I think it's a potato. A potato? Or maybe it's a big bean. Are plantains hard? It's not a plantain. It kind of looks like a bean or a potato. A large bean? Taste this. 
That's super weird. It's like a bean, right? Or a potato. <laughs> I mean, this is really good. What did I just eat? I don't know, but I really like this. Some sort of root vegetable. Mm. Wait, so what, what? I wish we had eaten this the first night. I know, what the heck? Why are we waiting so long? I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. Maybe we can try to make it ourselves, because I feel like we have beans. And then we'll give it back to them? No, just so we can eat it. Oh. But like, we could be like, how did we do? <laughs> and she's gonna be like, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is really good. Yeah. All right, so I figured it out. Um, it's kidney beans, water. So there's water in it, so we can drink water. What? My mouth is so like, why did he say not to have water? I don't know. It makes me really want water. What is that all about? <laughs> Cinnamon sticks, cloves, uh, one to two medium batatas or baniatos. Caribbean sweet potatoes. Which those are delicious. I want to get some of those and just like have them. I've never heard of those before. Nestle carnation evaporated milk, coconut milk, sugar, salt, nutmeg, raisins, and then milk crackers for a garnish. That, it, it literally just tastes like Christmas. It's really good. We also forgot to tell you what we thought about dinner. Oh yeah, that was good too. Dinner was so delicious. She said it's one of her favorite chickens that she's ever had. Yeah, the chicken turned out so good. Like you, he like basted it in the sauce and it made it so moist and like delicious and the sauce was so good. Yeah. Like I will for sure be making that again. I think I liked it better than if it had been apricot. I mean, I'm kind of curious what the apricot would have tasted like. It was supposed to be an apricot, like honey mustard, but with apricot instead of honey. And they just sent us honey. What if this entire time we were scared to eat sweet beans and it turns out to be exactly the same thing with the apricot, where I was like, well, I don't know if the apricot's gonna be good. I don't, I don't think, know if these sweet beans are gonna be good. I don't think we were afraid to eat the sweet beans. I didn't know how to eat it, so we were waiting till we saw the neighbors. Cause like, we saw, we see them in the backyard. Yeah. So we went in the backyard when we were doing our um, excavation of the fossils, and they were outside, they were putting up a bird feeder. And so, and we don't wanna knock on anybody's door right now because yeah. of like the whole social distancing, distancing thing. So we were waiting until we saw them in the backyard to be like, hey, how do we eat these sweet beans we don't know how to eat them and that's when he was like oh here's what you do and don't drink water is what he said yeah why i don't know it's like a gremlin <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm totally gonna drink some water right now <laughs> what's gonna happen we'll see what happens so another thing really quick before you drink the water in yesterday's video some of you left comments saying that you thought Jackson might have an ear infection because he was like touching his ear. Mm -hmm. And I said the same thing to you. Yeah. I was like, I think there's something going on with his ear because he was touching his ear, which he does when he's tired. He touches his ear when he, you know, when he's getting like cranky and tired, but this was different. And he's only touching one ear. And he's, he's doing it like, rather than being like, oh, I'm tired. He's like trying to find his ear almost. Mm -hmm. He's doing this thing where he's like very slowly like touching his ear. And I said to you, I said, I think he might have an ear infection. I think yeah. his ear might hurt. And you were like, no, he's just tired. But then you guys left the comments, so now I feel like he for sure has an ear infection. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is when he wakes up, we're gonna take his temperature, and if he has a fever, we'll give him some Tylenol. Um, but some of the other things were like uh, fluid coming from the ear, which he doesn't have. He did have like a lot of ear wax, right. but it wasn't fluid. Right. So I don't, but the other thing I want to do is our doctor is doing like telecommunications visits, like like phone Skype visits. Yeah. So maybe if it's something that we need to actually call the doctor, we'll do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But the other things that we read online too said that it like clears up in like two to three days. Yeah, so they said you don't have to go to the doctor unless he's still feeling the pain, like or still showing signs of it yeah. in a couple of days. And today would have been the second day. Right. So we'll see how he feels tomorrow. But I just wanted to say thank you guys for leaving the comments because I, this is our first time. Like, yeah, we don't know. Yeah, we've we've never had a baby before, so this like reading those comments made me feel like okay, I felt like my in intuition was right. Right. So. And mine was wrong. No, you weren't wrong, but I just feel like sometimes I question like, am I just being right too worrisome? But it just seemed different, like the way that he was like. I wish I could explain it. It was like a very slow, like, what is this? Right. Rather than like, I'm tired. You know, it's like a different thing. So. Right. I don't know. Thank you guys for leaving the comments. So we really appreciate it. Oh no, I just drank water because I wasn't even thinking. I just literally picked up my water and started drinking. And I was about to make this whole ordeal about like showing you guys that I'm drinking water and Jen's just over here like. <laughs> I forgot. Drinking water. I was thirsty. Yeah, me too. 
So wait, what's gonna happen? He made me feel like what was gonna happen was that it was gonna expand in our stomachs. Right. That's what he made me feel like. But it already has water in it. I don't know. Do you guys know? Leave a comment. We probably sound so stupid. Well, like, what is, like if they leave a comment, we're already going to have the effects of water and the beans in our stomach, so... I know, but just leave a comment anyway. Yeah, leave us a comment. No. <laughs> uh, I feel like the water is already affecting me. What's it doing? Uh, my stomach is so full right now, and I, I feel like I have to go to the bathroom. Well, that could be because we waited, like, two weeks to eat the stuff. Could be, or it could be the water. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. We'll never know. <laughs> Who knows? Oh no. I don't know, but we do have to go to bed. Yeah. So today was a great day. Today was so good. Yeah. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Juhi. I'm Jackson. We're from, from Baltimore. Baltimore. And, and now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.